An imaging radar is able to accurately depict the environment in front of a vehicle, thus um, allowing the algorithms to detect threats that can occur while driving. The four Ds stand for angular discrimination capability in azimuth, in elevation, then you measure the distance, that's the third dimension, and the fourth D is the speed, or Doppler. You can accurately detect very small objects on the tarmac in front of the vehicle on the road. You can also detect um, vehicles which are standing in a tunnel, or you can accurately detect uh, road boundaries and road curvatures more accurately than ever before. Yeah, a very big machine learning, uh, like a black box, um, wouldn't be safe and also would be very cost not cost efficient. So we combine classical processing and machine learning to have on the one side a safety approach, on the other side um, to have a very cost efficient solution. Especially on the radar, we have a very, very good machine learning models that are highly efficient and that can generate um, almost lighter a camera-like performance. You do not see all the pixels that you have in a camera, but you see very accurately contours and boundaries, and you can discriminate and separate objects very accurately through speed and distance. A camera is not able to measure distance, while a radar is very, very accurate in measuring that. We are facing the problems of adacent, highly dense scenarios. That means urban, high-speed highways with a lot of vehicles and traffic, and you have to be able to separate all of those items, motorcycles from trucks or pedestrians on zebra crossings in the streets. And in order to reach that separation capability, you really need to have a high angular resolution.